Hello everyone and welcome to part 29 of the Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode, Three's Company. Hey Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry guys, this bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic! I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so! Well done with our, uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. You'll run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. I'm a I didn't see you do that. Yeah. Ignore that, and concentrate on all the IAA agents we're gonna run into. You're a dick! I know people that can crush you! Oh. Mike, you've gotta oh. calm down. <coughs> calm down? I'm oh, about to break man. into an IAA station house, and you want me calm? Great. The locals are on to us. them in your sleep. I'm not getting arrested with you. That ain't happening. Necessary. I don't know, Davey. You and your bosses have asked me to do things that have blown my compass out of whack. Is this what passes for a shit hot wheel man? I can't believe we're trusting you with this thing. I'm not calling in any favors, evade the city cops. No more. 
more car accidents. You fucking idiot! I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Ranch not far from where we met anymore. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that. So we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Now, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Shit, yo! You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, I, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of... Uh, son I never had. Bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad. Right. Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later. All right, I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. I 
I get out of the chopper here, I'm gonna pass out. Bring it down. Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, you use a little backup here. Get me this. 36 flow. I got you.
thought they were government. I do home theater. I'm not a... I don't care who you are. Then why are you doing this to me? <laughs> hey, hold tight. I got some friends with the Bureau. They'll explain everything. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. The Bureau. The FIB. They will make everything okay? I'm sure. Don't worry. They'll look after you. The things those people did to me. I'm an American citizen. Yeah, well, that don't seem to matter too much. Hey, T. Bring her down in the lot. It easy. Oh, come on, give the guy a break. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! In bed with the bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what? You gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. That's it for part 29 of the Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode 3's Company. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is Cameron Huff, aka Night Huff, signed off.